What's up everybody, I'm the man who's you are awesome and we've got huge news coming out of Omega Studios with their Paragon successor project called Predecessor. I'll not beat around the bush here. They've added Steve Superville as an advisor to the team. Steve motherfucking Superville. If you don't know who that is, he basically created Paragon. It was his vision that got all of this started. It was Steve Superville that thought, hey, wouldn't it be nice to have a MOBA that actually looked like the gameplay trailers? I usually wouldn't call the addition of an advisor huge news. I reserve that adjective for stuff like alpha tests, full releases, my ego, or major game-changing patches. But holy shit, this came out of nowhere. Ameda now has the guidance of the Godfather himself, and I consider that to be huge. A little background info, Steve was the creative director of Paragon from August of 2013 to May of 2017. Basically the time frame for when I think the game was at its best. He then parted ways with Epic under circumstances that I personally find questionable. It all looked voluntary and friendly on the surface, but it seemed to many of us that he was swapped out for Donald Mustard in order to make Paragon lucrative for Epic at the urgings of Tencent Gaming. I have an entire video explaining all that somewhere, I'll just I'll link it in the description. It was after Steve left that we started seeing a focus on faster gameplay with the monolith map, skins locked behind loot boxes, and a tendency to attempt balance via the introduction of new hero kits. He may have had influence on some of those decisions, I have no idea, I just know that after he left, that shit started, that's all I know. So what does adding Steve Superville as an advisor mean? Well, if nothing else, it lends a massive amount of credibility to a Meta Studios. Let's do a classic food analogy here. It's like if several people are trying to recreate one of Gordon Ramsay's recipes, but only one of them actually has Gordon himself giving them advice. There's still no guarantee that the person is going to make the best tasting food, but most people are going to trust the cook with the OG chef in their corner. Having Steve's name attached to the project in any way gives Omeda a significant amount of clout with the Paragon refugee community. The, uh, the pair-refugees isn't going to start calling us. As far as what he'll actually be doing, though, I have zero goddamn clue. He has real experience with game design. He's not, he's not just a figurehead idea man. He's not just a leader, you know? Steve Superville has real game creation chops, and I'm not sure if the advisory role entails helping with, like, specific problem solving or just general advice on game direction. Maybe he'll just offer advice on how to lead a team through the rigors of the development. I have no idea. I have no idea what he'll be doing specifically. I'm just happy to see Omeda Studios' advisor on his LinkedIn account. I do want to take a step back here and point out that Steve Superville's addition may not be a good thing for every pair of refugee. I wish I had more information on how much influence he had on the monolith style gameplay so that you could better decide for yourself what you think of his addition to the Omeda team. I fully understand that my opinions of when Paragon was good may differ from yours. Many people enjoyed the monolith iteration of Paragon much more than Legacy, and I have zero clue what input Steve Superville had on monolith. I do think it's safe to say that he didn't have anything to do with the V42 patch. That's when they switched the entire economy and card system. Uh, you can decide what you think about that. I, I personally hated V42. I look at that patch as the nail in Paragon's coffin. However, that's just my opinion. If you enjoyed V42, then maybe you shouldn't give a shit about Omeda's new advisor. If you're in the camp that believes that Paragon is but a base to be used to build something better, or maybe you didn't like the original legacy iteration of the game, then maybe the addition of Steve Superville to the Omeda team can be looked upon as a bad thing depending on how much influence he'll have. My personal opinion though, if you can't already tell, is that it is fantastic news for Omeda. The Paragon that Steve Superville created is the Paragon that I fell in love with. Yes, Legacy Paragon had problems that needed fix, but the creation of a spiritual successor is the perfect way to keep the spirit of Paragon alive while also improving upon the base. Even if the advisory role is only intended as basic development guidance, it still gives me a warm fuzzy for Omeda Studios that the Paragon progenitor himself is involved in any way. Like the video if you enjoyed it, sub if you want to, the option to become a channel member is there if you want to support what I do financially, but for now this is the Mangoo signing off, you guys have a good one. Mangoo!